Hi everybody, it's Way from Wade's Orchids, and we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing here. I've never done an unboxing before, but uh, th this is going to be the community pots that I've ordered from H&R Nurseries, and it's going to be pretty much the plants I'm going to be raising through the winter and putting into individual pots, getting ready for sale next year. And I thought I'd just give you a little bit of an insight uh, especially if you haven't seen what community pots are and maybe let you see just a little bit of, of what's going to be offered next year. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here's the box. I cut it almost the whole way through. I have only one more side to do here. And it, it's hard to imagine that a box that's, oh, I don't think it's quite three feet long and maybe a foot wide, uh, has about 300 plants in it. But we're going to go through it here as quickly as we can. And First thing we're going to be looking at is, ta-da! Okay, this is the only thing that I did not get community pots of because it, the community pots were not available. Um, these are plants of Dykia hendersoniana. Okay, uh, I featured one of these in a monthly update video a few months ago and they are just beautiful, beautiful plants. I love them so much. And uh, I've had a lot of interest in them and said I would try to get some if I could, and here they are. So we'll be having those available. And I'll sit them over here. Just pretty little things. They, I, I don't know if they would ever grow beyond a two inch pot size. Uh, some of these have bloomed before. Sorry to have my back towards you. Um, but that's the first bag. And moving right along here. me this is like Christmas. <laughs> uh, something that H&R does is they, they use these, uh, they're, they're pots used for starting seedlings and stuff in the garden. They're a decomposable pot and they seem to last quite a while. Uh, this is uh, first community pot. This is Dendrobium Golden Age which is Aphrodite crossed with Calliopes. Uh, Nice size. Boy, I really like these. Uh, the, these are going to produce yellow flowers. And moving right along. I forget offhand how many I ordered now. But... Uh, Trust me, we're going to have a, a much better selection this coming spring than, uh, that, than what we did last year. And here's the second one. This is a, a Cattleya. This is Elsie Jungle Elf. And it's Cattleya Small World Cross with a Clandy Eye. And it looks like the largest of these are, are about five inches tall. And that means to me that they can start blooming in about a year. <laughs> so uh, nice size. There's also a lot of smaller ones here. I'll, I'll get this up real close. Uh, see if you can see in and along the edges here. You can see there, there's a lot of smaller ones. I'll grow them on later. Uh, and we'll have them in future years. So very nice. 
I'm doing my best not to trip on this microphone cord. I, I got myself a little remote microphone so you'd be able to hear me better in the greenhouse, especially when the fans are on and that. And this space here that you see in back of me is, is uh, space that I cleared out for the community pots once I get them all potted up in that. If you can imagine, this is going to be pretty much full of two inch pots. Here's another dendrobium. This is dendrobium Hawaiian stripes, uh, which is a uh, cross of Roy Takanuga cross with Nita. And if I remember right, the reason I, I got this is uh, H&R Nurseries got an AQ, which means that uh, there was at least a dozen plants that, that were selected as being an incredible improvement over the parents. And there were some of those that were given uh, awards, uh, either AMs or HCCs. Uh, this is an absolutely incredible, incredible cross. And it's a cross between uh, uh, Roy Takanuga is, is a Latoria section dendrobium. And then uh, Nita, I believe, is a cross between a Latoria section and a Phalaenopsis type dendrobium. Okay, and uh, these are going to be very, very nice. Uh, they, they do get a, a fair amount taller than this before they bloom, so it'll be a while before they bloom, but it's worthwhile getting them. When you get these community pots in, one of the things uh, the, the businesses such as H&R that, that raise a lot of things from flask and community pot, do a lot of their own breeding, is they have an area that is uh, set up ex expressly uh, to grow these things. And they're, they're very, the, the leaves are rather soft, uh, you don't see any marks from sun, uh, and, and they, they need to be hardened off and then uh, started up in, into uh, growing in, into adult plants. Uh, here's another dendrobium. This is dendrobium alexandre, crossed with hisiko, uh, oh my, <laughs> hisiko haraguchi. Uh, these look like they're pretty small yet. Um, bring it up a little closer for, and, uh, you can see, I think I can pull this out of here maybe, and I'm going to have, yeah, but each one of these has to be separated in, into, uh, you know, from, from its neighbors there, and then given an individual pot and grown on, in, in some cases, if I feel that they're too small to do so, I will separate them and put them into other community pots where they each have more space to grow on. Uh, sometimes that's better because it keeps the, the closeness of them, uh, allows more humidity and they, they seem to uh, grow up to the next stage a little bit better. And then after that, they would go into individual pots. We'll, We'll have to make that decision when we're potting them up. So, that's the fourth one. It's, it's always interesting to get a community pot and grow them and see how the seedlings start to uh, come out. And uh, okay, this is a, a new cross called Dendrobium Tiny Bubbles. It's along the same order as Dendrobium Microchip and uh, uh, others like that. Little Snowflake is one I was offering this past year and still have quite a few of. 
They are very, uh, they're smaller growing plants and they, these will get to be maybe eight inches tall is all. So they're nice windowsill plants. I believe that these will bloom twice a year, which means that they'll grow up quicker. Okay. And uh, this, this is, believe it or not, it's in a clear pot. So you can see how they're growing. These are in, there's a lot of styrofoam penis for drainage here. Okay. And then above that, uh, they use, uh, I think it's like a pro mix, but basically it's, it's peat moss with, with some perlite. Okay. And, uh, then they just stuff the plants in there and they take off. Okay. So, I mean, orchids, they, they do want to grow. It isn't that, that they, you know, are looking for a way to die or anything. They, they've got a desire to grow on just like any other plant. So as long as you provide them what they need, they will do just fine. And we're going to try to continue giving them what they need. And, uh, these, these, this is another, group of fairly small plants that, that I'm going to have to grow on, but I'm hoping that, that it will grow quickly. So that's the number five in our collection. Uh, and there's, there's eight total. So we got three more to go here. Ooh, another clear pot. Goody, goody, goody. I like clear pots. They're neat. Okay. This is a species. This is Encyclia cochleata. A lot of you know what this is. It, it's a very, very nice thing. This is made with selective parentage. Uh, it's called a cockle shell orchid. And they, they bloom and grow very easily. And this is made with selective parents. I think the the lip on this is going to be almost black and very nice size uh, flowers. It, it's possible that we can get an award out of this if if they're good enough and we grow them good enough. So uh, I I had to get this. I I don't have any any encyclia cochlea on myself, and I love encyclias, so that's why we have this. It's also a fragrant orchid. Okay, six down, two to go. Aha, uh -huh. another Catlia hybrid for you Nodosa lovers. This is BL Yellowbird, which has been a very, very popular uh, plant. This is a cross of Richard Mueller crossed with Nodosa. And I think they use their awarded Nodosa in this. And it, it's going to be lots of really nice, bright yellow flowers and possibility of blooming twice a year. And uh, that means that it's, again, it's, if they bloom twice a year, that means they're going to grow twice a year or put out new growths twice a year, which means that they'll get to the flowering size twice as quick. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I, I don't have any yellow bird and I, something else that I love are no dosa crosses. I just absolutely love them. And I'm hoping we're going to get some real nice ones out of here and maybe I'll get something that I can use for breeding even. Okay. So, Set that aside and we'll go to the last one. Um, my gosh, looks like the sun might come out for a little bit. It's been kind of dreary here most of the day. This is a nice size community pot. Holy cow, look at them. Uh, and this is, this is another Catley Alliance. Uh, a lot of you may have heard this before. Uh, uh, it's the one variety of it has been uh, awarded or clone of it has been awarded. This is a remake uh, using really, really nice parents. And I'm hoping for more good quality yellow to peach colored ones. 
This is called Awanagara Apple Blossom. Okay, it, it's been an apple blossom's been around for a long time, and I'm when I saw the H and R did a remake, I I thought to myself that they they really do know what they're doing on these because we're we're looking for an improvement on the original breeding here in this. So I'm I'm looking for some really nice quality plants. Uh, since we're talking about I want to get an apple blossom. I have one here that I'm nursing back to health. And it's right here. And you can tell that some of these pseudobulbs were not in the best of shape, but it's it's growing on. And here, this is the newest growth. Nice, nice fat bulbs. You can see the plant itself is not very tall. It's maybe, oh, maybe 10 inches tops. And I have a sheath here and it's going to be blooming for me real soon. Uh, it has bloomed once, just a, a teaser, it put out one little flower. These will put out like five flowers and they can bloom twice a year. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing this bloom and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we're going to have coming out of the community pots, okay? In addition to that, we're going to have a couple other uh, entries at, at, for the two inch pot seedlings, which you will find out about later on. And I will get back to you with more videos on things. Oh, I feel that sunshine. That is so nice. So I hope you enjoyed going through this with me. I'm going to have my work cut out for me. Um, oh, just to let you know, Okay, this is not Richard Mueller, but I, I mentioned Yellowbird. And uh, here's Potanera Hoku Gem, which is along the same lines of breeding, okay? So it gives you an idea of the kind of flowers we get if you aren't already familiar with Yellowbird. So it, it, this is the kind of thing that Yellowbird will produce. A uh, little, uh, uh, not nearly as many uh, freckles as you call them and a brighter yellow color okay so that's that hope you learned a little bit here and uh, we're going to uh, come back with more videos if you like this subscribe stay tuned for more and uh, there's the vent opening up yeah it is getting nicer that sun's nice so it's uh, up to about 75 degrees here and I'm going to have my work cut out for me for the next few weeks, uh, dividing these up and potting them up and uh, growing them on this winter. So I'll be seeing you. Take care and happy growing.